Chemicals After learning about chemicals earlier in the course, we know that they can be very dangerous and hazardous to our health. We will learn more about how to keep safe when it comes to chemicals. In this lesson, we will be covering storing chemicals safely and the chemical count. Let's begin with storing chemicals safely. The word storage describes the method of keeping something for future use. Chemicals can be very dangerous and harmful to your health and the health of others, so it is very important that they are stored separately, away from sunlight, heat, moisture, food and equipment, to reduce the risk of chemical contamination. To ensure that chemicals are stored safely, ensure that they are kept in a separate, well-ventilated room that is cool and clean. Chemicals should never be kept on the floor but rather in shelves, as this reduces the chance of water and pest contamination and makes routine cleaning far easier. Chemical containers must be properly sealed at all times, as it is dangerous to have chemicals exposed. Also, it would not be safe for chemicals to come into contact with each other. They must be stored neatly and kept apart. Mixed chemicals that have been stored haphazardly may have very dangerous reactions. Now let's look at our next topic, the chemical count. Now that your chemical store is impeccably neat, it is going to be very easy to count the chemicals so that you can get a complete inventory and have the right information to place chemical orders. Apart from your chemical store, it is a very good idea to have a separate chemical dispensary. This should be fitted with chemical release forms, detailing the chemical type, name and the amount that has been removed, along with your signature. These amounts can then be tallied and worked into your stock take and inventory, making the daily and monthly stock take far simpler and quicker. If these procedures are not yet in place at your establishment, speak to your supervisor about implementing these as a standard operating procedure. They will make the weekly ordering and monthly stock take precise, efficient and easy and help to show if there is any stealing or excessive wastage at your establishment. When you do the daily, weekly and monthly checks and stock takes, make sure they are carried out on formal stock take sheets that can be organized and filed. That way, the information is always at your fingertips. Well done on completing this lesson on storing chemicals safely and carrying out the chemical count and enjoy adopting these good practices into your daily routine. <laughs>